Hi darlings, let's talk about being nearly 30, but definitely being single. If you are new to my page, my TikTok, my name's Zoe, I'm 29 and I'm turning 30 in July. And I am single. I have been single now for three years. There was a little something in between, but honestly at this point it doesn't even count. I have kind of done my life a little bit backwards. Around 25 years old, I've been in a really long-term relationship. I bought a house with this guy, totally envisaged being together for the rest of our lives. Literally, when we bought our house, there was a nursery at the end of the road and we talked about sending our theoretical future children there. So this was very serious. But I had like a little bit of a midlife crisis. I think I felt like I was settling down way too early and way too young and I just hadn't lived my life yet. We broke up. So I did have another relationship after that that was very toxic and emotionally abusive. That's another story for another day. We now are where we are now, which is pretty much three years single and approaching 30 this summer. This is hilarious and a common theme amongst modern women. She had a great guy, bought a house with him and was thinking about having children with him. But she broke up with him because she wanted to explore other options and ride the carousel instead. After that, she has only met guys who treated her badly. She rejected the good guy for a bad guy, and now she is paying the price for it. Well, it's her own fault. Am I a little bit broken? Am I at the point in my life where I've just kind of, I guess maybe worried myself from being alone and also being burnt? that I just have put up blockers because I just find it easier to be on my own and reduce my uh, likelihood of being hurt. Now, please don't get me wrong. I definitely don't feel positive about being on my own all the time. I actually had an experience at my stepsister's wedding. This was a few years ago, pretty much when I first became single as to where I still am today. And it was when it was the first dance song and I've never dreaded it more in my life, but the reality was honestly so much worse than I actually thought it would be. Obviously the couple went onto the dance floor, did their dance and gets to that bit where they invite everyone else onto the dance floor. And I'm not even joking. I looked around and every single person was in a couple and it was just me stood at the side. I was actually with like a little kid um, who was like a cousin of someone else in the family. And she was stood next to me kind of right at the beginning. And I was like, oh, like, let's go and dance together. Like she was like four or something. And even she burst into tears. And I was like, <laughs> brilliant. I stood there alone, literally burst into tears um, and took myself to the bathroom to kind of sort myself out. It's moments like that where kind of like love and relationships and that kind of stuff is really forced in your face that can actually be quite hard. It's a wedding, like I expected that, but I don't think I expected it to hurt as much as it did. This is the type of life women create for themselves, a life where they really want a relationship, but pushed away the good guys to be alone and cry at weddings. They either destroy the good relationships they have in order to get dug out by Chad and Tyrone, or they spend hours complaining on TikTok, wondering where all the good men have gone. I really hope the first great guy she dated moved on to find a great woman who actually appreciates him. Me too, bro, me too. I had a man <laughs> crying, screaming, and throwing up last night because he found out I was going on dates with other people. And then I said, well, it doesn't feel like you're pursuing me. And then he said, but I'd love to pursue you more. I just don't want to come off as clingy. And then I suggested he stand in his authenticity and show up as himself and, and declare how he feels about me. If he, if he wants to know me better, know me better. I'm open to it. And he said, okay, let's talk tomorrow. Tomorrow is today. I haven't heard from him. And I don't, honestly, I'm so detached from dating now. So I'm just like going about my biz. I get a two minute voice note from him letting me know that actually <laughs> he's not ready for a relationship. And um, he has to date casually right now. I don't give a shit, but do you see like how Sometimes I feel like men have brain damage. The fact he was angry when he found out she was seeing other people proved he was trying to take her seriously for a relationship. After he found out she belonged to the streets, she tried to suggest he should try harder. Good for him for deciding to walk away from her. He came to his senses. Good for him. <laughs> 